hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support if you haven't subscribed to me please do so click like this video and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell down below okay so today video is about my march favorite i know it's been past march but uh march is the month that i had covered and actually just past my 10 days quarantining after getting COVID. It's pretty bad month and I actually lose my sense of smell. I could tell that it's coming back, but it's been pretty rough because I can't smell a thing. I couldn't smell when I had to wipe my kids when they go to the toilet. I can't smell my perfume. I can't smell anything. It's actually good and bad. It's bad because I can't smell my perfume, but it's good because I don't smell any smell that bothers me anymore when I cook. <laughs> All right, so what I have been wearing when I had COVID? Good question. I gravitate towards using a scent that I know will work, that I know doesn't choke other people out, that I know is pleasant, that I have a good memory off i don't know it just gives me a sense of comfort it makes me feel like i am not choking other people around me so the first scent that i use a lot for this month is hugo boss the scented private accord this one's an orange chocolatey orange cocoa powder this one doesn't last much it doesn't last past like 30 minutes at most so i know when i feel like i want to put on a perfume. I just gravitate towards using this knowing that, you know, cause if I don't have my sense of smell, I wouldn't be able to gauge how much perfume I use. So because of that, I just gravitate towards using this because if I overspray, nobody would smell me anyway. So yeah, I've been using Hugo Boss the Scented Private Accord. This one doesn't last a long time, but it does smell wonderful. And I just, I'm happy to have this in my collection. And these are the perfume that I tend to use a lot whenever I'm not feeling well. The second perfume that I use a lot is Guerlain Mon Guerlain, or the perfume for the same exact reason with the Hugo Boss, is because it doesn't last long at all. This one projects moderately upon initial spray. And after 30 minutes, it's practically down to skin sand. Other people won't be able to smell you. And this is a beautiful vanilla lavender scent. Very, very comforting. I just gravitate towards using this when I know that I can't smell much. Just because I know the scent profile is not beast mode and it doesn't choke other people. So the third perfume that I use a lot this month is Dossier Oriental Cherry. The reason why I'm using this because I absolutely in love with the DNA of Oriental Cherry, which is maraschino cherry with vanilla. It also have almond, cinnamon, tonka bean, pearl balsam, vanilla, jasmine, rose, plum, and cloves. I just know that this is a way affordable version this one costs $49 for 50 mil and this is like a clone for Tom Ford Lost Cherry which I absolutely love and I just know that this is a very friendly cherry powdery scent. I don't over spray when I wear this, I just spray two spray maximum and I know that other people will enjoy it. I don't know, I just maybe because I can't smell so I tend to gravitate on picking up a scent that I thought is going to be comfortable and friendly to other people. So that's the third one that I use a lot this month. Uh, the fourth one that I use a lot is another dossier, Floral Lavender. This is the clone for Leap Original from Yves Saint Laurent. I actually use this maybe three, four times this month. It's because I just want some refreshing orange blossom lavender scent. It also has jasmine. I just know that this is a very happy, uplifting, citrusy jasmine lavender scent. 
very affordable. This is $29 for 50 mil. I actually really, really enjoyed Dossier. This video is not sponsored. I really, really enjoyed wearing Dossier because I know it's super affordable. It smells really good. It's beast mode. It lasts a long time. And I'm not a Nosmic to it, even though I can't smell it right now. So clearly I'm a Nosmic to this end. But yeah, I just gravitates towards using this. If you don't have it, I suggest you to try this one out. It's beautiful. The last one that I wear this month a lot is, this is a Tar Collection Hayati. This is beautiful vanilla berries. It smells like berry sorbet. It's a very comforting, beautiful scent. This is my easy reach before going to bed. I like to wear this when I have company. Yeah, so this is beautiful. I bought this because of James Berry, Mr. Niche Guy. Really, really enjoy this. Beautiful scent. Yeah, so this is what I've been wearing a lot during March time. So yeah, I have COVID, but I think I have COVID starting the last two weeks of March. The last week of March. So yeah, I still have the first week of March that I use a lot of perfume. Let's see what else. I don't know if I showed you this before, but I use this quite a bit still. I've been obsessed with this candle, Ness Grapefruit. When I featured this in my February favorite, it was still a lot more full. It was like brand new. And now the month of March, I've used it quite a bit. So yeah, I really, really enjoy this. I use this a lot. All right, so last but not least, the perfume that I use a lot the month of March is Killian Princess. This is Marshmallow. Yeah, so this is like a like a matcha green tea marshmallow with powderiness. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I love wearing this at home to feel comfortable as well as this is really good one. If you're feeling sick, you could wear this because you won't choke other people to death this is not a beast mode in any way and it's just a very comforting scent it makes me feel good looking at it and smelling it oh by the way i have my sense of smell back but not completely 100 percent um but yeah i could smell a little bit some scent i could smell more than the other for sure yeah, so that's it, guys. That is much my March favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.